What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a convenience good. That's right, today we're gonna to be doing a case review of six different cases I picked up using Amazon Prime. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at one case I purchased at Best Buy, but really it's here to just prove my point. We're going to be introducing a new standard to case reviews while well, on this channel, not YouTube wide, but on my channel, I think this is appropriate that we be able to determine a good case from a bad case. And we'll get into that momentarily, but here we're going to be pretty much doing an in-depth review. As you can see, we've got a case from NTG, which I reviewed for the iPhone just last week. Uh, we have the iPhone 12 Pro clear case with MagSafe. This is basically a TPU plastic case. We have two silicone cases from a brand called Mirror Case. One of them is in this really cool Willy Wonka purple. It looks great with the new purple iPhone 12. I think these cases here in the middle by Mirror Case will be the most popular, and I got them, I believe, in the two most popular colors. I also got it in an Hermes orange color. Now, I haven't seen an Hermes branded Apple Watch in real life, but I think this orange mirror case copies the Hermes orange pretty well, and I think the purple case looks awesome too, so we'll definitely check these out. I think we're in for a surprise. They were $15.99. The clear MagSafe case was $49.99, so it was pretty expensive, but again, this is all to prove a point. On the end here, we have the Array case. Now, this is kind of an off-branded case, a brand I've never heard before, but it's a clear TPU plastic silicone case, much like the uh, clear case with MagSafe by Apple. So this case by Array was $10 and this Apple case was $50. So again, this is all just to prove my point. And then at the opposite end of all of these other cases here is probably my favorite case. It's actually one that I purchased at Best Buy just a couple of months ago after purchasing my iPhone 12 Pro. This is the Life Proof case. It's just a $35 plastic shell, but it actually does a great job of protecting the phone. And yeah, it was a little bit on the expensive side, but again, we're getting into what makes a good case from a bad case and why it might be in your best interest to purchase a more expensive case and we're going to get into the reason why, you are going to have to wait to find out. So let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impressions. I'll be as quick as possible. I'm not gonna like bamboozle you with all of the paperwork and crap in each box. We're just gonna take everything out, lay it out, and then we'll get into the good stuff. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so now that we have all of the cases out of their box, you can see them for themselves and what exactly they look like. One thing about this generation of iPhone is the 12 and the 12 Pro, which are completely different models, do fit the exact same case size. So you'll find that a lot of these cases here will say that they are compatible for the 12 and the 12 Pro, and that is true. Uh, as you can see, I was able to find the box for the LifeProof case. It's actually the Wake. It was about $35. I purchased the Wake at Best Buy. It is a fantastic case. It's just a pretty solid uh, bendable plastic. It's got these really cool grooves on the back. It's real subdued and conservative looking with the blacked out LifeProof logo. And last but not least, what makes this case so awesome to use are the buttons are clicky and we'll get into why that is so important here in just a second. But to make this point, we're going to have to do some comparisons. As you can see at the opposite ends here, we have two clear plastic TPU cases. This one by Array was $10. It's actually kind of rubber on the sides, but plastic on the back. It's definitely much more flexible at the side rails than the back plate. In the middle here, we've got two silicone cases, which I think we could actually compare 
to this NTG case because the under layer is silicone, which does cover the buttons. It's not this plastic layer you see here. And then of course, at the very opposite end, we have the most expensive case here, the Apple iPhone 12 and 12 Pro clear case for MagSafe. This was $50, the array case was $10, the mirror cases in the middle were $15.99, a little bit expensive, but I think they're going to fit the iPhone great. We'll see just how good they are, but one thing for sure, the colors on the mirror case look awesome. Okay, so now that you've got a pretty good idea of what type of cases I bought, the two meta cases on the end come in these really awesome colors. They come in about 15 or 20 different colors. I think the two most popular colors in Apple's lineup are this orange and purple. This orange almost looks like an Hermes orange, but it's a little bit off. It's a little bit too light. I think it almost looks like a creamsicle. But the purple, on the other hand, looks absolutely phenomenal. I don't think you're going to be able to tell a difference between the iPhone 12 purple and this purple. I think they're gonna complement themselves phenomenally well. So definitely check out these really cool, nice looking premium silicone cases from Mirror Case. I'll leave a description or a link in the description below. But we're gonna do a comparison between all these cases and the main comparison we're gonna be doing is not the features, but how clicky the button is while taking a selfie. So I've actually set up a little experiment here. Uh, I'll tell you exactly why I ordered each case now. So as you can see, I've got the mirror cases. They are rubber silicone cases. Uh, they were relatively inexpensive compared to some other silicone cases on the market, like from Apple, for example. So if these can pass the selfie taking test, if the buttons are really clicky, then these are going to be a good case. We're going to take a look at this NTG case. Now this is a rugged case, but what makes this comparable, I think, to the Mira silicone cases is it actually has a silicone lining underneath that covers the buttons. Uh, this was an inexpensive rugged case or it's inexpensive for a rugged case, so it should actually make a good comparison to the mirror case. And then we actually have three plastic cases. Now, the twist here is this one's from Best Buy, not that big of a twist, but it was $35. It's a life-proof case. It's the Wake, it was $35. It's a phenomenal case. Now, I came up with this idea of doing a case review and testing out how good it was simply by taking a selfie because I found that another case I was using with my iPhone 12 Pro was awful at taking selfies with the case on it. This one is from a company called Array. I picked up using Amazon Prime. It was $10. And then, as you can see, uh, we've got a Apple MagSafe case here for $50. Sorry for sort of handling it in such a weird way there, but uh, the only way we're going to be able to do this review and do it the correct way is if I have a screen recording going so you can see how fast this takes selfie. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and go into the camera app here. And as you can see, I look handsome as ever. Uh, I've got raw photo on. Let's go ahead and use the volume up and down buttons here to take a selfie. As you can see, uh, it is absolutely horrendous at taking selfies with the volume button. Uh, the rate of clickiness is extremely low and you'll see how low it is compared to some other cases. So let's go ahead and get the other cases on and see actually how good they are at taking selfies. Okay, so I actually have to do these screen recordings on my phone separately because every time I take a case off, I accidentally lock the screen and stop the screen recording. But okay, so we've got the Array case on. This is also a clear plastic TPU case. Uh, it was $10. I picked it up using Amazon Prime. It is a little bit more uh, rugged looking. It has these bumpers on the corners and stuff as where the Apple case is just a little uh, plain, I would say. But yeah, that's really just preference, right? 
So let's go ahead and see. Ooh, wow. This thing takes really nice selfies. Okay, so this, according to this test, is a good case because if I take this out of my pocket, uh, I can take selfies right away using the volume up and down button. The buttons are nice and clicky. As you can see, the rate of fire here is much greater than the Apple MagSafe case. And one thing I'll actually say here is when it comes to a plastic TPU case like this or the Apple case, uh, they do tend to be a little bit slippy. Really good job on Array for making the volume buttons clicky so I don't have to fumble around with my phone when I'm taking a selfie. Okay, so I'm actually going to compare the Wake case along with the TPU cases because this too is plastic. I like this case in particular because it has this really cool wave on the back. I also like the black and white contrast. As you can see, I think the phone is basically just limited by the software how fast you can take a photo because the life proof buttons are extremely clicky. Now this case I have pretty much broken in because I have been using it for quite some time, but I think the reason why I have been using it for so long is because I do like to take pictures and being able to take this out of my pocket and snap a photo or take a selfie uh, at you know the blink of an eye is super important. So yeah, really cool uh, that this plastic uh, life proof case is pretty good. Even though it is more expensive than the Array case, uh, I think it definitely offers a compelling design. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to take a look at the Mira case and the NTG case. Now, the NTG case is a rugged case, so it's not in the same class as the Mira case. The Mira case is really just a fun uh, design-centric case uh, that you're going to pretty much have for casual use. Uh, this NTG case is much more suited to someone who is working a hands-on job or working a job outdoors or just working a job maybe where you're using your phone constantly and uh, you're at risk of dropping it more. So this is definitely on the uh, cheaper side of the rugged cases. The rugged cases uh, from various brands can go upwards of $70 and $80. I know the OtterBox cases can be outrageously expensive. That being said, this actually does sort of make a point here. Uh, this case is only $16, but again, it's just your run-of-the-mill silicone case. It doesn't really offer the same protection this does. This is really more of a protection for your investment as this is more of like an indulgence. Uh, but anyway, uh, the selfie test does not discriminate, so let's go ahead and see what the camera test is like here. So we've got the Mira case, and you can see the rate of speed or fire is absolutely tremendous. I would say the life proof case is better, but this is not far off. It's still just as clicky and responsive. So uh, you could pull this out of your pocket and take a selfie real quick or a picture real quick. And what I like is there's no branding on this case. It's a really cool trip or a uh, hip trendy color. And again, the buttons on it are fantastic. Now. Let's compare it to the NTG case, which is a silicone case underneath. So you can see uh, if you get a good grip on it, you can actually take quite a few pictures of it. Now I know this is an iPhone SE and not an iPhone 12 Pro, uh, but I think the case or the test speaks for itself. So you can see uh, that it does a fairly good job, but uh, the rate of fire is less, and that's because these buttons aren't as tactile. They're just a little bit too mushy. Therefore, I would say this is just okay, and this is pretty good. And last but not least is the orange Mita case. Now, I don't think this is going to be as popular as the purple. I think this looks a little bit too light to be an Hermes orange. It looks a little bit like a creamsicle, but I think Mita case did a phenomenal job by uh, bringing this case to the market at an affordable price and offering it in 15 different colors. 
It's minimal. It doesn't have any branding or logos on it whatsoever. It's got great lip protection. It's got lay on the table design and the color is absolutely outstanding. And last but not least, if you decide to pull it out of your pocket to take a picture, you can absolutely do so and not have to worry about fumbling around with the device. As you can see, the rate of fire here taking a selfie is tremendous. So yeah, this is not just a good case, it's a phenomenal case. Okay guys, so the purpose of this review video was to test each case out according to its ability to take a selfie. We actually were surprised here by what we saw. The NTG case fared pretty well. I would say it placed second to last. I would say the most expensive case here placed last, and that was the Apple MagSafe TPU case for $50. The volume buttons on the side were extremely flush and not tactile at all. TPU cases are slippery, they're plastic. You take them out of your pocket, you're fumbling around to take a photo, and you can't because the the buttons are too flush, and then next thing you know, you're squeezing your phone too hard and it's slipping and twisting out of your hand. Not a good time, not a fun experience. This, according to the test, is a bad case. Next up is the Life Proof case. I would put this somewhere in the middle. This is a phenomenal case. Uh, it was $35, I picked it up at Best Buy. The buttons on it are extremely tactile. Uh, as you saw, I think this case was the best case according to rate of fire. I was able to take roughly 20 or more selfies within 30 seconds or so. 35 bucks, this is middle of the ground, offers decent protective features. Uh, it actually is thin and modern and lightweight. Yeah, couldn't recommend this case enough. Even though it's middle of the ground, it actually wins this review. So let's go ahead and take a look at our final four cases here. Two of the cases are the same. So you've got the life proof case in first place. You've got the mirror case in second place, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and give third place to the array case because for $9.99, it performed surprisingly well. It performed much better than the Apple MagSafe case for 50 bucks or five times the cost. Definitely a good solid third place here. Even though it is the cheapest, you could consider this the first place. And then of course, number four is the NTG case because it is the lower end of the rugged class of cases. You're definitely going to want to have the ability and the versatility to take the phone out of your pocket at a given moment and use the volume rockers if you need to, to take a picture. So fourth place, I think uh, last place is going to the MagSafe case for 50 bucks, huge surprise. Third place is our Array case. Second place is the uh, Mira case and first place is the Life Proof case. All of these, by the way, are according to rate of fire taking selfies. Anyways, guys, interesting, fun little review. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions and review. I hope you saw some really cool and interesting cases for your phone today. And as always, when you're looking for uh, reviews for cases, whether they be on YouTube or Amazon, always be sure that the reviewer goes over how tactile the volume buttons are because they do come in handy and they are extremely important when taking photos on the go. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this unboxing and first impressions and review. I really hope you enjoyed what you saw here. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications when I post videos to YouTube and share this video with friends and family and tell them we review items from Walmart and Target and Best Buy and Dick's Sporting Goods as well as other stores and online stores like Amazon. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.